I'm Christine Caton in the Prior Learning Assessment Program at Merrill Hirsch University and I have the pleasure of being here today with Peggy Fisher who is a business and leadership major and Peggy has just finished 44 credits towards Prior Learning Assessment to work into her degree plan. Congratulations! Woohoo! Woo you need to tap it back! <laughs> that was a huge accomplishment. Huge. It's just huge. Tell us about some of the topics that you wrote for. The well, PLA I wrote for a lot of communication topics. I wrote for nonverbal communication, listening, business communication, small group communication. Uh, and because I did a lot of similar topics, I was able to kind of weave in some stories, which was really helpful to me. I also wrote for some management, uh, leadership, uh, customer service, project management. So those are, I think, probably the key areas. You said you, you, you were able to weave in some stories that are similar. Is mm -hmm. that something you can do in PLA? It is, and uh, thank you for that advice. <laughs> and I used that wisely. And it was something I wish I had done a little bit earlier, uh, but I started keeping a journal or just kind of a list of the stories that I included in each of my essays. And then it was always easy to look back on that list and say, oh, that's right, I forgot about that. I can use that here. And you, you know, you need to finesse them and fine tune them a little bit to adapt them or adapt them to the subject that you're working on. But you can very easily oftentimes use stories uh, to demonstrate multiple topics. Mm -hmm. And we do that in life. Right. You know? we, exactly. we tell the same example of something, but we're mm -hmm. looking at it through a different lens. And we learn, mul we learn multiple things mm -hmm. from uh, a single experience as Yay, well. Yay, so. we do. <laughs> Great, thank you. What changes occurred in you as a learner because of the PLA process? Great question. I, I'm assuming some changes did occur. Okay. Yes, <laughs> I did PLA late in my um, late in my degree program, and I'm almost finished. But I think the changes, well, a it um, helped me to reflect on my learning, which is a great part of the learning process but then it also reinforced my learning so just uh, reading and understanding some of the theory and the concepts and tying that to my experience reinforced that learning okay. and so it really then helped me apply it to life mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. and it's just kind of is that cycle that ongoing mm -hmm. learning cycle you you mentioned yeah. um, Reflection, is is that something new to you as a learner? It's probably something that, that I don't do well enough. I'm usually, you know, in uh, one mode. In a a fast track. ahead, a fast track <laughs> mode. And so uh, reflection has not been one of my strong suits. And this process really has uh, forced that, but in a really positive way. Mm -hmm. It's, it's mm -hmm. that reflection has helped me own that learning and given me confidence that, oh yeah, That's that is college-level learning. And, and, it and I do have that. It you. validates it, mm -hmm. absolutely. So it, it was a very good thing because reflection, as I've learned, is a very necessary and good part of that learning process. So even though you're at the end of your degree pathway, some changes have happened in you, right? Absolutely. Yeah. And those are things, I mean... It's something that I'll take, be able to take with me mm -hmm. even after I graduate. So, I mean, you know this. It's Learning isn't just about getting that certificate and getting that degree, but it's about lifelong learning. And so there are so many things that I've learned that I can take with me beyond uh, graduation. That's great. That's great. Do you have any tips for other students in, in the PLA program so that they can be <sighs> successful like you've been? Well... Uh, it takes a lot of hard work and dedication. Carving out the time is critical. I mentioned a little bit ago something that I thought was really helpful, and I didn't start to do it until later, but I would recommend it, and that is just keeping just a quick log of your stories so you can reuse them. Um, and going back and rereading what you wrote previously. Mm -hmm. I did that later on, and I was like, oh, yeah, I can... And I think that was very that was very helpful. This is something you turned me on to, Christine, and I really appreciated it. I looked 
and used syllabi from four different colleges uh, for my classes. So I went to Portland Community College, Clark Community College, Clackamas Community College, and Merrill Hurst. And I chose the course description that best fit my experience. And I also wasn't afraid to write for four or five credits. Uh, I put the effort in to add, you know, two or three different, two or three additional pages or whatever it took to make sure that I covered that topic. But uh, in looking at the different course descriptions and writing for those bigger credit classes, uh, I was able to do that just by making sure I wrote for the right one. Mm -hmm. Great. And that was really important. I was able to get some extra credits that way and really prove that I had that experience. Wonderful strategy. Thank you, Peggy, for sharing your experiences with us and congratulations on 44 credits towards your degree. Well, thank you, Christine. I really couldn't have done it without you and the whole PLA team here. It was really, really rewarding, and I so appreciate the help and the guidance in getting through it because you guys were here to help me every step of the way, and I could just feel you pulling for me, and that made all the difference.